Monica is compassionate. She's just the most caring and unselfish person. Sabrina is always striving to be the best that she can be in every aspect of her life. My daughters have always been by each other's side. Growing up in Livingston, Monica and Sabrina were people shy, but let me tell you, they were inseparable. They always found comfort in each other's company, whether it was at school or on the soccer field. Soccer started to open so many doors for both my daughters. It made them happy, hopeful, and developed this sense of team responsibility for both of them. When Notre Dame called, we had no idea what to think of it, but we decided to accompany the girl to their first visit and everything changed from there on. Around the campus, we were just driving up and just like talking about things and as soon as we stepped on, I remember like just me like loving the atmosphere on our tours of the place, just feeling so welcome. And for me, one of the most awesome feelings was just like the family atmosphere that I experienced. I felt like this could definitely be my home for four years. The girls loved Notre Dame from the very first time they stepped foot on the campus. They quickly made friends, they enjoyed the academics, and they were elated with the soccer. Now Flores with a shot, and that one goes in. And here's Sabrina Flores wide open. She scores. Number eight, Sabrina Flores, and it's one nothing Notre Dame. And then came the opportunity of a lifetime knocking on their door. They both got the opportunity to play for the national team in the Under-20 World Cup, but for two different countries. Playing for the national team had been a dream of theirs since they were little girls, and here was the dream come true. This was the first time in their lives they would be without their other half. I think at first it was definitely a big change and that's why it was so difficult at first to adjust to being presented with different opportunities. We wanted what was best for each other and both of us wanted to reach the next level and continue growing as soccer players. We got the chance to continue with those same goals we had, um, just going in different paths a little bit. For me, the feeling to have not one but two children given the opportunity to play on the world stage was that of tremendous pride. The girls were given the chance to travel the world and play the game they love. Because both teams were doing well, we all knew that down the road there was a potential to square off in a big game. We almost expected that this moment would come, especially when the groups for the tournament came out. When the game actually came, obviously there was like a, a big media outbreak. We were texting each other just like the night or two nights before, just like ignore the media. I didn't realize how big of an event it kind of was at the time. Once I saw them out there together, it all kind of made sense. Even though they're on opposite teams, they love the chance to be on the field together again. Whenever I look at that picture, it kind of just gives me the chills and, and makes me think about that situation like more in depth. There's like no worry on both of our faces, which is completely abnormal. I'm always like worrying and have like these worry eyebrows and like really focused in and you like barely smile like before a game. Like I remember just being so happy that you were there and that like I was there and wishing the best of luck for each other. And it was just kind of just like a serene and like pure moment for me, I think. I can like see in that picture, in our eyes, like our whole history unfold. My daughters might not always be teammates, but they will be each other's biggest fan forever. And they will want nothing but the best for one another in everything they do. For me, I think it was really important to branch out and be an individual and be Monica. And I think an important step of that was getting the opportunity to play for Mexico. I think it 
It really allowed me to grow and become my own person. When we were separated and not, not kind of having that partner in crime that we've always been used to, it was difficult at first, but because we had that chance apart to grow, it was definitely, I think, for the better because we got to figure out who we are, just experience things differently. But I think that then when we came back together, it helped us grow even closer together. This fall coming back together, um, I think I'm excited more than ever just to finish up this last semester for me, for myself, for Notre Dame soccer, and to be with you um, having this last semester with you. I think that means a lot. Monica is. Sabrina is my, my best, best friend. friend.